that is enough of that. Hello, this is now my sixth video, and you would think that I'd be getting a little less awkward in front of a camera, but no. So for the last two weeks, you guys seem to have been really enjoying my videos, and I think it's because I actually sat down, planned them out, scripted them, and worked on the idea for a few days in advance before I actually shot the video. Um, and, <laughs> well, I would love to say that I've done that again this week, I haven't. Sorry. Luckily though, I found this. Some of you probably think I'm a massive creep right now. But you're wrong, mostly. This is me and my sister's baby book. Basically when my sister and I were in the really early stages of childhood, like from, you know, from about two until seven, six, seven, my parents kept a diary of sorts of the stupid shit that my sister and I said. Thank you, tiny little me, for scripting this video for me in advance. So today, because I haven't got a script, and because I haven't had any time to work on any of the video ideas I had for this week, I thought I'd just read to you some of the stuff that I've said when I was very, very little. These range from 1997 up until 2003, so I hope you like them as much as I am embarrassed by them. So I'm gonna start from 97. Um, this one, just to let you know, my parents for some reason call each other babe, just like around the house, instead of actually calling each other by their real names. So that's just a little bit of backstory to this one. Zach, calling to dad from his bedroom. Hey babe, I had a poop. Just a little poop, so we're off to a classy start. Zach to mum, drinking coffee. Can I have a sip? Because I'm very drinky. Zach's advice to dad when leaving in the morning. Don't poop in your underwear, dad. Solid life advice from a three-year-old. Zach to mum. I'm very sick because I have a throat in my tummy. Mum, what would you like in your lunch today, Zach? Um, maybe macaroni and ravioli and sticks and sugar and toast. I knew what I wanted when I was four. Dad to Zach. Zach, what would you like to be when you grow up? Um, a tree. Dad laughs. No, I mean, some people are policemen, some are cooks, some are scientists. What do you think you would like to be? Um, I just want to be a tree. I really know what I liked. Mum. <laughs> Zach, please don't look through the neighbor's window because that's not polite. Zach runs outside and says to neighbors, Mum says I shouldn't look in your window because it's rude in there. Zach to mum. Mum, when you kissed me last night, I saw one cootie. Zach to mum. What do trees smell with? Mum, a boy is called a male. Oh, there's more. Mum, that's right. And what is a girl called? Um, a vagina male. Why did I know that word? Hey, I think it's starting to snow. I just saw one cornflake fall down. Zach to dad. How does the egg get out of the chicken? Dad. Well, it comes out of a place sort of like the chicken's bum. Zach. Yup, but eggs don't come out of my bum because I'm not a refrigerator. Mum reading the help wanted ads. What kind of a job do you think you'd like, Zach? Spitty. Reach for the stars. Zach, after tripping and scraping his knee while playing. I don't like this fun I'm having. Zach, phone in hand. Mum, what's Santa's phone number? Looking back, that one's kind of sad. I don't like answering the phone when there's no one else home. Okay, so there you go. I've thoroughly embarrassed myself and hopefully entertained you guys. And if I haven't, then and what more do you want from me? Kidding. If you like this video, please give it a like and share it everywhere you can. Uh, tell your friends about me. It's a really good way of getting my face out there. Also, subscribe. Also, just a quick side note before I end this video. Um, this beanie is from an awesome company here in Australia called Hungry Lifestyle. As you can see, it says Hungry right across the top. It's got a little pom-pom, which I like because... Because I like it. Um, the guy who runs the place is awesome. He's very personal and makes a real effort to please his customers. I'm going to link the website below so you guys should go check him out and buy some of his stuff if you like it. Also, this came in the mail today. Yay! Um, those of you who are Jack's Gap fans might actually recognize this. Uh, the company that made this is called Johnny Cupcakes. I actually found out about it through Finn Harris. Um, I think he tweeted about it or he mentioned it in a video. I don't know where I got it, but anyway. I found out about it through him and I went on the website and I really liked it and I bought this and I got here in like three days. Um, it's an American company and I like it. So I'm going to be linking both those websites down below. Um, they do guys and girls stuff, so make sure you go check them out. And I will see you next Tuesday. Forgot what day of the week it was. Bye.